the lesson that we can learn here is in rejecting truth, we are opening ourselves up to being deceived. So again, when you don't accept it, when you don't believe in truth, you're more than likely to be deceived by falsehoods. Paul also warned young Timothy and us of this in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, will multiply teachers for themselves because they have an itch to hear what they want to hear. They will turn away from hearing the truth and will turn aside to myths. Therefore, as a believer, be watchful of such people. Listen, read, and study what God has to say in His Word. By knowing what He says, by understanding what He says, and again, you may not understand everything. I don't understand everything, but he does reveal it to you. That's how he speaks to you. You know, he shows you something that maybe you didn't understand before. And you're like, all of a sudden, you're, you're, oh, wow, I get it now. Thank you, Lord. So again, know it. By knowing what he says, it's going to help you spot a deceiver a mile away. Jesus warns in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, be on your guard against false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inward are ravaging wolves. 